EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it is all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion, Kansas City Chiefs, taking on the NFC champions, the San Francisco 49ers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Uh, Charles, we don't like to throw around the word dynasty loosely, but for the Chiefs, it applies. I mean, they're looking for their third title now in five years. And with the way this league is configured now, it absolutely applies. I think you're totally... The final act of the 2023 season is at hand. What a spectacle in Las Vegas. We're off in Super Bowl 58. And we will not have a return, so the first drive of this Super Bowl will begin at the 25. Here's the Chiefs offense for their first possession, and it's Patrick Mahomes at quarterback. And he spoke very eloquently and passionately on media day about what a victory here would mean for him. He knows this just isn't any other game. This is the kind of game that stays with you for a lifetime. If there's anyone on this field tonight who's most ready for this moment, I think it's this man right here. First play, Mahomes looking to throw it. Quick slant to Watson. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. Mahomes to MVS there for the Kansas City first. That was a lightning-fast decision that time. He just caught it and got rid of it. Because he saw his guy was going to be open immediately, so he took the R, the run, out of the play. He took the O, the option, out of the play, and immediately got to the pass. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. That's complete. It's Travis Kelsey. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players. Somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination. Guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Mahomes complete to his tight end. It's Kelsey. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers, 36. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, they clearly wanted to come out, Charles, and be aggressive throwing the football, and they've been pretty efficient along with that aggressiveness. He's now 4-4 four four on this opening drive. Yeah, and that's led to a fresh set of downs. I like what he's doing back there. You can tell he's at ease. Feels good about what he's doing. I think if I'm the play caller, I'm reading that. I'm continuing to let him throw the football. So just three yards on the completion there, and it'll be second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Now it's Mahomes again. And that nearly an interception here on this opening drive, but he gets a reprieve. It's third down. Finally, an incompletion. He was 5 of 5 before that last throw to start this game. So he is human. All right, so we found out after the way he began, that, okay, he can have an incompletion here or there. But I love what they've done right from the word go. They just need to pay it off for the touchdown now. Dance into his left. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. On first down, Mahomes. Throwing right, and that's complete.
From the 21, here's second down and seven. To throw, it's Mahomes. And he's got it. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Rasheed Rice from 21 yards away. And the Chiefs are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. They got to love that. Nine play drive results in six points. That means they're doing the dictating. That means that they've described how the game's going to go. They're playing at their tempo, at their pace. If you're on the other side of the ball, if you're playing defense, defense is not methodical. They've got to go in there and shake things up and create a little havoc. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that makes the score 7-0. So that drive consumes nine plays, all told. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting pay dirt. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And they will be led out by a man in his sophomore campaign as the cornerback. As we begin the Super Bowl, we are looking at one of the game's most important players. And whether he's the centerpiece of the offense or taking a backseat to his teammates, offenses always look to the quarterback to be a leader in moments like this. He's got to be that calm, composed pillar out there who stays level-headed and keeps everyone focused on the task at hand. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 15. They'll try and start this drive in the air. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. This drive starting off on the right foot. 18 yards. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you've got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. First carry for Christian McCaffrey. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Second and a couple. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. We all have habits. We can be somewhat predictable, and you know me pretty well on second down and short. What I like to see? Play action. Yeah, without a doubt, I thought that was a great spot to call it. Instead, didn't go their way, did it? Now, defense sold out for the run. Worked out well. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. The end result, 21 yards. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 43. A handoff, McCaffrey running right. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, it's almost football 101 that you preach to your safeties. Don't let anyone get behind you. You're the last line of defense. But he didn't let the play come to him. He went to the play. How about that read and recognition and finishing off that one behind the line of scrimmage? Pretty slow, complete here to Ayuk. 
It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Purdy with it on third and long. And the Chiefs are going to get it. That's George Karloftis who fought his way through the line to bury him. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. On fourth down, the Niners trot out Mitch Wisnowski to punt the football. Waiting on it will be Richie James. And that will bounce out of bounds before they can get a return going. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Talk about angling that one perfectly, partner. We know the ball can bounce anywhere, especially how it's shaped. But that one, as if on cue, goes out of bounds perfectly. Perfect indeed, right at the one-yard line. Excellent coffin corner punt. On the run, this is Gray. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Dre Greenlaw in there on the tackle. Second and ten. Headed straight, it's Pacheco. And he's able to get this across the 10 before being taken down. That'll go for a gain of 13, helping big time to get away from that end zone. First down. That's pretty much mean potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all. Challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. On first down, they go back to Pacheco. And they'll get him down here at the 23. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Now they'll throw with Mahomes. And that will be incomplete. They couldn't hook up on what's going to be the final play of this first quarter. That brings us to the end of one in Super Bowl 58. Much more to come from Las Vegas after this. 7-0 is our score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to the date on the calendar we circle every year. Super Bowl Sunday. Brandon God and Charles Davis here with you as we get set to begin quarter two. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. Now Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down, maybe by about a yard, as they find a way to convert on third and inches. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. But he's already proven to be a factor in the running game on this drive. Now he gets involved in the passing game. I think what we're seeing here is the modern version of workhorse in the NFL, being able to run it and catch it with equal proficiency. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. That's Juwan Taylor, the right tackle. Still second down. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. And again, it's Mahomes. Over the middle, that's hauled in by Tony. So the completion results there in nine yards. 
Third and seven now. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And off balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. Yeah, that's a nice job there defensively to blanket those receivers on third down. And as a quarterback, all you can do is just lop one toward the bench, not too close, mind you, and live to punt the football. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. That's taken on the 25. We'll call it a 42-yard punt, three on the return. And the Niners will go on offense, first and 10. And San Francisco gets set to go here. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. On first down, it's Purdy. That's complete. It's Kyle Juszczyk. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. It's pretty easy to overlook the fullback when you're making your assignments defensively in the pass coverage game. But in this case, they made him pay for that oversight and picks up a nice gain. On first down, Purdy. Open man is Juwan Jennings. Now he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That's a really nice, tough run inside, and they gain five yards on it. And be frank about it, most offenses don't expect to have five yards on a play call like that. So when they do, they go back to their huddle with a little pep in their steps. They're starting to think that they're starting to dominate the line of scrimmage. Purdy from the gun. Open man is Samuel, complete. Just a gain of a couple there. And this will wind up being a third and three. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. On third down, here's Purdy. That's caught by Werner, the tight end. And he is going to have a 49ers first down by a couple of yards as they're able to convert here on third and three. They brought in a heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. A throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Purdy will set up to throw it here. Touchdown, 49ers. Brandon Ayuk, 23 yards for the touchdown. And the Niners are an extra point away from tying up this Super Bowl. All drives that result in points hurt a defense, but when they are the sustained variety, play after play, and they just can't get off the field and stop them, that can be demoralizing. Jake Moody now for the point after. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. 
So this drive spans seven plays. And it was Brandon Ayuk capping it off with a touchdown reception. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And we see James, he will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. And out come the Chiefs now. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Now a swing pass. It's Edward Delaire. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Throwing now is Mahomes. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. That one, a first down pickup of eight. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near. Oh, he faked it with a joke. Now he's got some room. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. Meanwhile, Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. 23 yards on the play. Boy, everything clicking on this drive. He's four for four now, and that throw may be the best of the bunch. This offense is really humming, and they pick up another first down. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field, and just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Eight yards on the touchdown pass, and the Chiefs have taken the lead. Boy, that route is really tough to cover because if they're running it correctly, you think it's really going to be a slam. Yeah, well, we talk all the time about how it's tough to execute offensively, but you're saying, don't forget, it's tough to cover for the defense, too. Yeah, the number one thing that you're taught is to not get caught inside or get beat inside. So you guard that a little bit more. So that gives you a little bit more space to operate outside if you start your move initially inside if you're a receiver. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that makes the score 14-7. to Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. 
There's receiver Brandon Ayuk as San Francisco's offense returns to the field. He's been good so far to this point in the second quarter. Need to get him even more involved, maybe? I would agree with that. Definitely. Uh, yeah, it's not even a question for me. The way he's playing, he's doing a nice job. Increase things. More touches, more opportunities. Maybe that can reverse things on the scoreboard for them. They'll try to ratchet things up then maybe here in the second quarter. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. A reminder, as we did all through the regular season, we'll check in with Jonathan Coachman at halftime. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half of play. They'll find Ayuk open right side. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Purdy's throw pulled in by Kittle. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he is going to lose yardage here. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before loss yarded. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for loss yardage. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Purdy. He's got his target. That's complete. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Again, it's Purdy to throw it. This is caught. Touchdown! Brandon Ayuk. His second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the 49ers are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. I don't think it's any state secret to know what they were saying before they started this drive. Let's go and punch one in the end zone and go into the halftime feeling a heck of a lot better about ourselves. Let's go get this done. Yeah, tie things up and then you get a brand new ball game. Moody good with the extra point. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Chiefs going to go back on offense one final time in his first half. 
And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And just 25 seconds to go in the half now as they've got it first and 10. Now here's Mahomes. He'll find his running back, Edwards Alaire. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Second down in the yard. Mahomes now to throw. And the Niners get there and bring him down. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Third and eight. Open man right side is Tony. Now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Here's Tommy Townsend on to punt. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. A 47-yard punt, maybe a couple on the return. And there will be time for maybe one final play before halftime. is to snap this once and that'll do it for the first half of play. So we've reached halftime here in the Super Bowl as we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. We thought this one would be a close battle coming in and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30 minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. Now, Brandon Ayuk ready to bring out the rest of this offense here for this upcoming series. He's having a day here in quarter number three, over 100 yards, couple touchdowns. Every receiver's hope for when they head into that game in the National Football League. And his team is loving what he's giving them. Of course, the yardage is terrific, but I think it's what you mentioned, the two touchdowns. That's the big one because he's paying off his results downfield. And still more time here, third quarter. We'll see what else he has in store for us. Starting the second half with a run by McCaffrey. A beautiful fake. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive. First down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? 
has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, we all know possessions are crucial in a tie game, and let's face it, I really didn't need to tell you that. You already knew it. So when he sees he's got nothing good going, an excellent decision to just send that one to the sideline. Purdy to throw again on second and ten. Connects with Kittle underneath. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. It's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives him a much better opportunity to convert on third down. This now a third and four. Back to throw, Purdy. The same target, same result. It's Kittle. And he is going to have a Niners first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. He's still having trouble moving the ball on the ground. Yeah, so much for halftime adjustment. Sometimes the best adjustment you make is no adjustment. You just do things better. But in this case, I think an adjustment was in order. They may have to change up and start throwing the ball around a little bit more. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance in guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 14. But forget the run on third and one. They shot the D and rip off a pretty big play. With the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep with the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Purdy now to throw. Looking for the out route. He's got it. Complete to Kittle. And this carry terminated at the eight-yard line. Good stick skill showing the power, but just not much room to operate. And that's good for a gain of six. And that will bring up second down. Shotgun now with Purdy. It's going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. Boy, you will not see a quarterback of his caliber miss on one like that very often. I mean, there it is, wide open, got the shot, and he misfires. We talk about, boy, he'll want that one back all the time. He definitely wants that one back. Purdy sets up to throw again. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. They converted twice on third down that drive already, but couldn't make it a third. We always talk about in-game adjustments. How about what the defense did there, able to shut them down on that attempt? So Purdy off and Moody on for the 49er field goal. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And this one is right through. And they take a 17-14 lead. Well, they don't get a touchdown here on the opening drive of the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you've motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead.
So after the made field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And we see James, he will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. And they find themselves down on the scoreboard following the field goal a moment ago. And I think even though they trail in the game now, I would consider that a win for their defense, and that's probably what they're telling the offense when they get to the bench. Hey, the onus is on you guys now. Get back out there and get us the lead back. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll start the drive here with Pacheco. And they work this well up field across the 45. 46 yards rushing for him now on just his first three carries. Defense really kept him in check running the football in the first half. Maybe that'll be a spark for him here in half two. So two words come to mind for me. Resilient, because he has to keep bouncing back after some limiting runs. And how about relentless? Keep going, knowing that you may pop one, as he just did there. On first and ten, here's Pacheco. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That whole thing was thrown off track thanks to the defense of Fred Warner. Really nice play. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. His throw incomplete. Even in today's NFL, when we think of the tight end position now as really a glorified wide receiver, we're still asking a lot of those guys. They have to block as well. And every now and then, they don't come down with the football. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. To throw, it's Mahomes. He's going to let this one go deep. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he's on to kick it away. And did they keep it in? They did. They kept it in. It's down close to the goal line at the one-yard line. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. And he'll get this only up to about the three-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Now, that's the defense that they were looking for, being able to get extra bodies to the point of attack to deal with the big guy carrying the ball. You really don't want to be in a position where it's a one-on-one -on -one tackle with him. This is second and eight. McCaffrey running up the middle. Nifty move. And a nice pickup as this one gets him to the 10-yard line. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third-and-one situation. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. On third down, it's Purdy. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we say it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Purdy's throw there, taken in by Kittle. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 13-yard gain yet again, just like last play. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve. 
throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. A give running left. It's McCaffrey. He'll get it to the 40. Broke a tackle there to get some extra yardage. 50 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Purdy from the gun. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 18. A good pick up there, a 22. through three quarters of play here from Allegiant Stadium in Super Bowl 58. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. And we're back in the Super Bowl. Time to decide who gets to hoist that Lombardi trophy as we begin the fourth and final quarter of action. This is McCaffrey on the give. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just <laughs> give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. Now Purdy, that's Samuel, caught left side. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds, right around the seven. That play gets him six yards and sets them up with a first and goal. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion right here. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. Second and goal from inside the five. The throwing here, Purdy. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the 49ers are starting to pull away in the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. We see this route all the time, but when it's well executed, it's a beauty. And it feels like the fade takes forever to develop, like that ball is just hanging in the air. And the reason why is that the receiver is trying his best to work the defender inside and give himself space to fade away from him and catch the football. And that's exactly what happened there. Moody good with the extra point, and his guys will take a 10-point lead. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. And we're at the time of this Super Bowl where, look, they need points. And they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and 10. Let's go, 
Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Second down and three. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. The pass complete on the crossing route. This is Tony with it. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. This offense says we got to start making something happen. We're down two scores. It's the fourth quarter. We've got to start moving with some urgency. And here's a big play that gives them a ray of hope that they can get back in this one. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. Chase Young, his second sack of the night. How about that, partner? His second sack of the game, and that puts him in some pretty good company. 17 guys have had two sacks in the previous 52 Super Bowls, but only three have had the record number of three sacks in this game. And we've got the list here. If he gets another one and everyone behaves nicely, we might just list those out for him. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted but it winds up falling incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. The offense on third down, two for five to this point. This will be third and 19. Pacheco gets it up the gun. Then he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. On the left hash mark, this a 38-yard attempt. Butker's kick here is good, and this is back down to a seven-point game. Well, no field goal attempts for him until the final quarter, but no hesitation on his end. He comes right out and nails his first field goal try. I give him a lot of credit, too, because he stood there the entire ball game, but has managed to stay with it both mentally and physically. When they called on him, he was ready, and he knocked it through the post. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. The 49ers offense now. They work their way back onto the field. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago. So they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and 10. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it, but what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Play action. Now Purdy. And his throw is incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys. On third down, it's Purdy. 
That is caught. And he's going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? It's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. On first down, it's Purdy. He's got Ayuk once again. Room to maneuver at the 45. There he goes again. Touchdown, 49ers. Brandon Ayuk with his third touchdown of the Super Bowl. And the 49ers use the big play to extend their fourth quarter lead. And this is obviously quite a performance. And most of the time when we talk about someone putting a team on their back, I think we're talking about a, a guy who runs the football. In this case, it's a guy out wide catching it, and he's done exactly that, truly leading his team right now towards victory. Three touchdown catches. He's been the headliner. Moody good with the extra point, and the lead now up to 14. The drive summary, four plays, 75 yards. And it was Brandon Ayuk capping it off with a touchdown reception. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And we see James, he will not return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. And now here comes Kansas City. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive in with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Fourth quarter, every drive so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You got the first one for the second one to even matter. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Going with a dime look on defense. Two extra defensive backs on the field and covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have the Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and can serve as much as possible. And he's got his... And he lost the football. And it looks like one of the DBs has it. And his crew will take over at their own 45-yard line. Brandon, I don't want to violate any of our broadcasting rules by declaring a game over before it's over. But that one... That puts them in real jeopardy there. Absolutely. It was a two-possession game. It is a two-possession game at this stage in the fourth. They needed points out of that drive. And obviously now, no chance at all to get those points that they so desperately needed. There's receiver Brandon Ayuk as San Francisco's offense returns to the field. Oh, this defense, they will. And now, as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. The previous play is under review. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. After review of the play, 
ruling on the field is reversed. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. And again, it's Mahomes. And that one caught by Rice. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Tashawn Gibson. And the Niners are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. But here in the fourth quarter, defensively, you know that you're just going to blanket the field with defensive backs and say, OK, take your best shot. And that time, it's intercepted. And we've often seen teams go into the prevent early, way too early. And sometimes they get too soft in their coverages. But not in this case. They understood the situation and played it with the proper aggression. Purdy going to lead the 49ers to the line, first and 10 at their own 18. And he'll start by handing this off to McCaffrey. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. And you'd have to figure they're just looking to burn these final two minutes away and get out of here with a victory. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Purdy will set up to throw it here. He's got his target. That's complete. And now with 152 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll try and burn some clock now with McCaffrey. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And he will have a Niners first down. And that ought to be the one that seals the victory. 78 yards rushing for him now on 17 carries. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Time for this one final knee to put a bow on this title bow. That is likely the final play in this game, and no better feeling, I would imagine, than taking a knee to wrap up the Super Bowl. Culminates everything. The championship is theirs. And just think, the last play they had in practice before this game began, 
was doing this, practicing taking a knee and winning a Super Bowl. And they get to do just that. And the San Francisco 49ers will hoist the Lombardi Trophy as Super Bowl champions. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs. You see the guys sharing the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little <laughs> bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them. A fantastic season.